Hello and welcome back to another Demisto tutorial. As always, my name is Andrew Shama, and today we are introducing the Demisto PyCharm plugin. From leveraging PyCharm's capabilities as a fully fledged IDE to executing code both remotely and locally, the Demisto PyCharm plugin is an essential tool for developers working with Demisto. By streamlining the development process, creating integrations and automations within PyCharm allows for developers to develop, test, and implement highly customized content for their Demisto service. All right, today we will look at installing, configuring, and using the Demisto PyCharm plugin. If you would like to follow along with written instructions, please check out the link down below. Without further ado, let's dig in. It's important to note that the plugin is compatible with PyCharm version 18.2 and up. I'll be installing the plugin on version 18.3, but if you are using 18.2, it should look very similar. But be sure to check the instructions as they will help with the differences. All right, now off to Demisto. I think it is safe to assume that you are probably using Demisto already. However, this plugin only works with version 4.1 and up. So if you are using anything below 4.1, first of all, update your version. We have a ton of new features you'll love. And secondly, the plugin only works for 4.1 and up, so it probably will not work for you. Okay, now that we have all of our prerequisites ready, let's generate an API key. All right, let's get started. First, head on over to Settings and Integrations. Next, click API Keys. I'm gonna generate a new key for the PyCharm plugin by clicking the Get Your Key button and I'm gonna call it PyCharm. Okay, so now that we have our key, let's open up PyCharm and get the ball rolling. Open up Preferences and click Plugins. Next, let's search for Demisto in the Marketplace. There it is. Lastly, click Install. Great. Now let's get the plugin configured. First things first, we need to open the project we wanna work on. I'm going to use the content repository found on GitHub. This is the Demisto content repository that is part of the normal content release. Let's open up the setup menu by going to Preferences, Tools, and clicking Demisto Plugin Setup. If you're using a Mac, you may be prompted for keychain access. If so, click Allow Always as this will avoid issues later on. So here we will add our Demisto server URL and port. The port is not required, but if you use it to normally connect, you should include it here as well. Before we enter our Demisto API key, I'm gonna hit the test button to make sure everything is up and running. It looks like we are good to go. Click apply and let's create a new Demisto file. If you notice, a few files are now added to your project. Common Server Python, which contains all of the common server functions you may have seen in the script helper. Common Server User Python, and Demisto Mock. Demisto Mock will allow you to run scripts locally within PyCharm, and we'll look more into that in a little bit. So to create a new Demisto file, let's select the folder it will belong in. Today I'm going to walk through a script, so let's select the scripts folder and click File on the top navigation bar. Click New Demisto Automation. If you're working with an integration, these steps are nearly identical for both, so don't feel like this is going to be vastly different for you. I'm going to call this script High Five Dev Team. If you notice, two new files are created a Python file and a YAML file. The Python file will open by default, so let's get coding. This script is going to use the command thank a dev and will return a simple greeting. The script itself is not super important, but will help show you the workflow. If you notice, up at the top of the file, we are importing the files which were created when we first opened the project. These imports allow us to use code completion kind of like this, or even syntax highlighting like this. I'll have this also accept an argument called dev. All right, looks like our code is ready. Let's export this to Demisto by clicking this button up here. Now, one of the big features of the PyCharm plugin is the ability to run the command from within PyCharm. This eliminates the back and forth programming, which can be time consuming. All right, to run this, let's select our command and enter Shahar for the argument. Click Export and Run in Demisto. This will run the command on your Demisto server and return the results here. 
Check it out, looks like it works. The PyCharm plugin really enables rapid development because you can do it all from the comfort of your IDE. You may also be asking yourself, but if I ran it on our server, will I be able to check it out in the UI? And the answer to that is absolutely. So let's head on over to the playground and see it for ourselves. Here we see the command being fired in the exact same way as if we had typed it into the war room. And we even see the result as we saw it in PyCharm. Now, as awesome as this is, we can go even deeper if we'd like to. Let's say we had a bug in our custom integration for VirusTotal, and even with the logs, we still cannot really pinpoint what is going on. Well, now we can run the integration locally and attach a debugger to the process. This means we can use breakpoints, loggers, and any other debugging tools you are familiar with. Let's open up the Demisto mock Python file and configure this so we can run it locally. All right, here we enter the command. Note that we don't use the bang symbol. Next, the arguments. These are in a dictionary as key value pairs. And lastly, our parameters. This is where you add your configuration for the integration, such as an API key or server URL. Navigate to the virus toll integration and click Create Demisto Python file. Add in some breakpoints around our troublesome code and click Run. See how debugging just got infinitely easier? If you look here, we can also see the settings UI panel. Here we configure some of the settings for our integration. This about wraps it up for the PyCharm plugin, but if you have any questions, check out our documentation in the link down below or ask us on Slack in the Demisto DFIR community. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, good luck threat hunting.